Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 clothing glitches of the most recent update. But before I show you guys, have you subscribed yet? Because as you guys can see by this graph, only 3.3% have subscribed. So um, why not turn the red button and turn that to grey? Also shout out to these people on the screen for subscribing. But anyways, let's get straight into the video. Alright, so starting off with this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock the rare hoodies that have not been released yet. Now, what you guys want to do is make your way over to any clothes store around the map, then make your way over to the top section. From there, once you guys have made your way over to the top section, scroll down until you find the category called hoodies, and then from there, select the black hoodie, which should be the second option. From there, what you guys want to do from there is simply purchase it, and then back out, and then make your way over to your interaction menu, head over to uh, style, and then scroll down until you see hoodie, and then flick up your hoodie. Now from there, what you guys want to do now is uh, go back into the top section, scroll down to special tops, and then as you guys will see, there is a category called GTA 5 Anniversary, and from there, you will find two hoodies. Now, while you guys are looking through the special tops categories, you will notice that you will see a star locating on some other categories. So if that is the case, just simply click on those and you should see some other hoodies that are also free. Now, once you guys do purchase these, you will have these forever, but apparently there is a little bug which isn't too uh, worrying, but if you do actually purchase these hoodies with the hoodies up, you will lose access to the hoodies that you have already owned, but in that case, just simply put your hoodie back down and then the options should still be there. But anyways, let's move over to the next glitch. Next up on the list, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the flight suit tube onto any outfit. Now starting off, what you want to do is make your way over to any clothing store around the map and then make your way over to the register desk and then scroll down to flight suits and then from there, just simply select any of the flight suit uh, outfits. Now there is only two options and what I mean by this is of the color of the tube. So you either can get the green tube or the black tube. From there, what you guys want to do now is make your way over to the shoe shop and then from there, simply enter the shoe shop with your uh, flight suit outfit on. And then once you guys do walk in, you will notice that your tube is now missing. From here, what you guys want to do is change the outfit to the outfit that you want to transfer the flight suit tube over to onto your new outfit. Anyways, once you guys have put on your new outfit, what you guys can do now is simply walk out of the shoe shop. And now what should happen here is, is that the flight suit tube should now transfer over to your new outfit. Now from here, what you guys can do is simply save your outfit. But anyways, this will be a wrap up for this glitch. Let's move over to the next glitch. Next up, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get any duffel bag in the game. So what you guys want to do is bookmark all of the jobs or the jobs that you want to get the duffel bag that you guys do want to get. Anyways, once you guys have bookmarked the jobs, what you guys want to do now is pause the game, go to online, jobs, play jobs, bookmarked, last team standing, and scroll through until you find the job names called duffel bag by husky underscore 70, then simply start it up. Now once you guys do load into the job, what you guys need to do now is either invite a random or a friend to join up. Now once you guys do load into the job, what you guys want to do now is open up your interaction menu, then make your way over to style, eliminated clothing, and from there spam right on the d-pad for around 20 to 30 seconds. Now once you guys have spammed that for around 20 to 30 seconds, what you guys can do now is simply pull up your phone and then back out of the job. Now once you guys do load into a new session, what you guys should notice is that you should now have the duffel bag. But at the moment, it is currently not saved. So what you guys want to do is grab a air vehicle, so like an oppressor or a helicopter of some sort, and then fly over to the mask store. Now, what you guys need to do is that you guys want to actually parachute to where the mask store is, as if you do just simply walk up to it and press right on the D-pad to customize your outfit, it will not let you because of the duffel bag. So what you are doing here is simply bypassing that uh, limit. And so what you guys can do is that while you guys are in the air, you want to aim for the shirt section, which is located on the left side of the mask store. Now, I, for me personally, I do prefer to actually smack into it instead of just landing in front of it, only because it does give you more time to actually spam right on the D-pad, like you guys will see very shortly. Now, as you guys just saw, I did press right on the D-pad with the duffel bag open. Now from here, you guys can simply save the outfit into any slot and then back out and then simply re-equip the outfit and there you guys go, you should now have any of the duffel bags. Next up on the list, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the paramedic outfit. Now what you just want to do is bookmark the job as well and that will be located in the description down below and then from there, pause the game, go to online, jobs, play jobs, bookmarked and then scroll through until you find the job called paramedic by husky underscore 70 and simply start it up. Now once you guys do load into the uh, job, what you guys want to do now is simply invite a friend or a random to join. Now once a friend or random has joined, what you guys want to do now is simply load into the job. And then from there, once you guys have fully loaded in, you will notice that you will be wearing your outfit only for a few seconds. But once you do fully load in, your outfit should now be turned into the blue paramedic outfit. 
Now from here, what you guys want to do now is simply flip your interaction menu, head over to style, accessories, then go once to the left to equipment earpiece, and then from there, simply pull up your phone and then back out of the job. Now once you guys do back out of the job, you should now be wearing the paramedic outfit. Now from there, once you guys have loaded in with the paramedic outfit, simply feel free to save the outfit or do whatever you like with it. But anyways, let's move over to the last glitch. Alright, so for the last glitch of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to merge any belt onto any outfit. Starting off, what you guys want to do is equip a shirt that you do like, and then from there, make your way over to utility vests, and from there, simply equip the peach plate carrier vest. Now, once you guys have equipped the peach plate carrier vest, what you guys want to do now is remove any head accessories. From there, make your way over to the register desk, uh, go down to highest coveralls, and from there, select any of the last four outfits that have the gas mask. Now, from there, what you guys want to do now is make your way over to the beach so we can go do the telescope glitch. Once you guys have made your way over to the beach, what you guys want to do now is make your way over to any of the telescopes around the beach, and from there, run up to the side of the telescope while spamming right on the D-pad. Now, what should happen here is, is that your character should be frozen only for a brief period, and then from there, uh, what you guys want to do is pull up your interaction menu, make your way over to style, accessories, and then equip the outfit that you want to do the uh, belt merge glitch with. And then from there, walk away, and the gas mask should transfer over to the outfit that you are currently working on. From here, what you guys want to do now is make your way over to the mask store, and then save the outfit into the first slot. Now, once you guys have saved the outfit into the first slot, what you guys want to do now is pause the game, go to online, jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, missions, and then start up a titan of a job. Now, once you guys have set up a Titan of a job, what you guys want to do now is simply leave the settings the way they are, then load into the mission. Now, once you guys have loaded into the mission, what should happen here is, is that you should no longer have a Peach Plate Carrier Vest, as well as a hoodie on the gas mask. If you do have either of those, I do recommend restarting this glitch, as it will not work further on. Now, if you guys do only have a gas mask and your Peach Plate Carrier is uh, missing like mine, you can carry on with this glitch. Anyways, what you guys want to do now is make your way over to the nearest gun store and save the outfit into the first slot again. And then from there, what you guys want to do now is pull up your phone and then back out of the mission. Now, once you guys do load into the session, as you guys can see, I am currently wearing the outfit that I wore during the mission. Anyways, from there, what you guys want to do is make your way inside of the gun store, make your way over to the outfits category, and then pick an outfit with the belt that you want. Now, for the sake of the gameplay, I am picking the outfit with a uh, cop gun belt that was released during the Diamond Casino update. Now, you can find some other ones like the janitor belt, but personally, I'm not a fan of it, so eventually, I did decide to settle in with the cop belt. Anyways, from here, what you guys want to do now is bookmark the job called It's a G Thing, which I will also leave in the description or the comment section down below. And from there, what you guys want to do now is pause the game, go to online, jobs, play jobs, bookmarked, missions, and then scroll through until you find the mission called It's a G Thing, then start it up. Now, once you guys do load into the mission, what you guys want to do is set the clothing theme over to player owned, and then invite a friend or random to join. Now, once a friend or random has joined the session, what you guys want to do now is simply hit play. Now, once you are in the category where you are changing outfits, what you want to do is simply go once to the right. Now, at the moment, it does not look like the belt has transferred and the gas mask is still there. This is normal. Anyways, what you guys want to do is simply hover over the outfit and then hit play. Now, once you guys do load into the job, what you want to do now is simply pull up your phone again and then back out of the job. Now, once you guys do load into a new session, what should happen is that you should be wearing the outfit with the belt before loading into its G theme previously. Anyways, from here, what you want to do is make your way over to any vehicle, so preferably a car of some sort, whether it is yours or a randoms, it is totally up to you. Anyways, from here, what you want to do is simply set up a CEO organization, and then make your way over to CEO management style, go once to the left, and then back, and then hop out of the vehicle, and then from there, your outfit should now have successfully been merged. Anyways, from here, what you guys want to do there is simply save the outfit, and there you guys go, you have now successfully done the belt merge glitch. But anyways, this will be a wrap up for today's video. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more, as we're currently on the road to 10,000 subscribers. See you all you guys later. Peace.